All right, so the fastball mount worked so good <clears throat> that I think I'm gonna go buy a couple more of them. Yeah. Uh, so basically I need to, uh, I just got to go buy a couple. I think they were like three bucks a piece or something like that. So I want to put them on different areas, like in the car and on my phone. I think I'm going to try it on my phone. So, yep. But either way, you showed me how to reach for the best of myself. I think that uh, I'm also probably going to look for some wire ties, and I gotta, I gotta price some, uh, I gotta price a couple things because I told the wife I was going to do some rearranging of the house. Uh, they're on vacation right now, so probably going to get some of that done this week. Um, yesterday, volunteered for Habitat for Humanity, and I actually learned a lot. Uh, found out that they. They don't give the houses away. Um, the person who gets a Habitat house does pay a mortgage. They they don't have to pay interest on it. Um, they pay like 10% of whatever their income is for uh, the house. So basically if it's, you know, uh, hundred thousand hundred and fifty thousand dollar house and they only make you know a thousand dollars a month they pay like 27.5 percent of whatever the mortgage would be and the other ones covered so basically they pay like 275 dollars a month they also are required to do like an eight hour finance class which i think is awesome and they're also required to take an eight hour um, home maintenance course. What the heck? <laughs> That's interesting. Anyway, <laughs> they're uh, required to take a home maintenance course, which, you know, helps them learn how to like replace doorknobs or do basic plumbing or, or things like that for their house. Uh, one of the other things that they're, that is a requirement, they have to be a first time home buyer. So if you've had a house before, um, you can't, you can't get a Habitat house. So I thought that was kind of interesting. Anyway, let's go get those mounts. <laughs> All right, so I got two of these. <clears throat> they had a, I had a bunch of them, but you can see here, you can put it on the back of your phone and the grips and you can put it on your dash and you know. oh, yeah. one of the other things I forgot to mention about the Habitat for Humanity by the way is that the person not only you know has to pay the mortgage but they also have to do at least 250 hours of um, work equity so what that means is <clears throat> work on their house but they also have to work a minimum I think of 50 hours on another habitat house so that they can help other people who are in the same situation. Uh, the person's house we were working on yesterday is was a cab driver and he has a family of five so they were getting one of their, the largest houses that habitat builds. Um, they have I think they said five styles of houses or something like that. different styles so that's kind of cool. I also have uh, a Habitat for Humanity Restore and what that is is it's basically like any appliances or things like that that you have that you know say are still in good use um, that you, you can donate to them and they'll resell it to other people who need those um, at a discounted price of course. Um, there's also companies and things like that that will donate house, like house materials uh, to Habitat for Humanity. Uh, they also uh, donate 
uh, appliances and things like that. So um, those appliances go to the restore uh, in, mo in some cases so that they can buy more materials to build the houses themselves or put into um, appliances and, and stuff. So you can find a Habitat for Humanity restore. It looks like there's four in Columbus. Looks like you can maybe even shop online. Uh, let's see, they've got cabinets, doors, flooring, uh, wall coverings, landscape, lumber, roofing, faucets, tile, countertops, knobs, plumbing, tool sinks, fixtures, light, lighting, electrical supplies, and siding. So if you have anything that you want to do in your house that you're looking for discounted materials, you know, you don't want to go to like Lowe's or <clears throat> Home Depot or something like that, you can go to the ReStore and buy these things to work on your own house. So it's a pretty cool idea all the way around. So if you get a chance, um, try and, you know, uh, volunteer for a Habitat for Humanity in your local area. Or, you know, buy materials from them. I'm going to look at some <laughs> cabinets and maybe put some in my garage. Okay, so I priced out the wood and <laughs> I got it. So I'm going to be building a wall to this. Cause even if I 